All right, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Chahakwadash, Laulam Yom. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach them well and who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. I want to give a strong Shalom to all the Akim on the four corners of the earth, puts his word in truth and sincerity, making the calling and the election sure. And I want to give a humble salutation to the hopeful elect tuning in on the four corners of the earth, wherever your habitation may be at. Uh, this is Brother Mashal. Come back at you with a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. I want to say the water, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, forgive me spirit and heaven of mercy uh, for allowing me to do this lesson. And um, I want to uh, go into this topic, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, well, you know, my, my, uh, me and my, my, my rib was talking about it, you know what I'm saying? But um, she suggested I do a lesson called For the Love of Esau. So, hey, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, uh, we got a lot of Jakes, you know what I'm saying, out here, you know, not only, you know, uh, loving and caring for, for, uh, for Esau Edom, man, right? But also for the, for the, for the philosophies and what Esau stands for, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what's going to lead Jake to the destruction, you know, because that's why the scriptures call, um, you know, Jake heathen, you know what I'm saying? Second, uh, in second Ezra, uh, chapter two, it, it, uh, Ezra called us heathens. Why? Because we were following the ways of the Gentiles, man. Throughout captivity after captivity, we always wanted to be like the heathen, man. Right. And now we, we see, now we're in the captivity of the, uh, well, you could say the Edomites, the Edomites now, but even though the Romans, and the uh, and the and, and the Greeks were Edomites, you know. But now we're in uh, uh we're, we're gonna call it the American Edomites, I guess you could say. You know that that's that's the that's in power, all right. So now we 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 love Esau to the point where we we uh, we adopt his ways, we adopt his philosophies, we adopt his uh, uh, holidays, you know his his habits, you know eating abominations, all these things. Are, are are being done for the love of Esau. All right, so let's start off in um, Isaiah 13 and verse 14. It says, "And it shall be as the chase roe." And what what is the chase roe? Is a a, a a a female deer that's being hunted. You know, that's being uh, chased. So so as a a, a deer is is a uh, you know, running from his, from his, uh, from the predator, right? It says, and as a sheep that no man layeth up. And what happens when a sheep, that's why you always see sheep in herds. Now, when you find a sheep that's, that's by itself, it's easily, uh, sus uh susceptible to be, uh, preyed upon. Okay. It says, um, so that's what's going to happen. All right. That's what's going to happen in these last days where Jake think everything is cool right now, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't have nothing in common with Esau, but all y'all do is talk about uh, basketball, you know what I'm saying, and football, you know, and not anything, uh, you know, um, serious, you know? And Jake Jake forms a bond over these uh, over these uh, Greek uh, customs, man. You know, that Esau has has been birthed, man, into, into what we see now, into football and basketball and... Uh, you know, wrestling, all all this stuff, you know, has been has been uh you know re regurgitated, I guess you could say. It says they shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one into his own land. All right, see, so it's going to be a time where un no, no more of that uh you know what I'm saying you you going over Bob's house to go watch the Browns game, you know, because everybody's going to be turning to their own people, man. You know, and then the next verse explains it. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. Everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. You see, so Jake is going to love Esau so much that he's going to be willing to die for this cave beast, man. You know, he's going to be willing to put his life on the line to save Becky. To save Karen. You know? But that's the mindset of our people. Why? Because we have stock, uh, uh, Stockholm syndrome, man. We sympathize with our oppressors, man. We've been beat down by our oppressors so bad that we 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 look for ways to appease them, man. So what do we do? We start doing uh, stupid stuff, man. 
even back in the uh you know the uh like the early 20s 30s you know you had um you know bojangles you had guys you had jake that would be tap dancing and you know uh wearing the 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 the, the painted face with the big red lips and stuff like we, you had sellouts, sellouts like that why because jake wants to sympathize with their they want the approval of esau man because they love esau too damn much they want to be like Esau. They want the they want the uh the, the power, man. You know what I'm saying? That the most high Yahweh Bashim Shah has given them. You know the scriptures say in, in uh in Job 9 and 24 that the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know, Jake wants that power, man. He wants that he wants that power because he knows that it's his, man. You know, but he wants it carnally, man. We're gonna have the kingdom and the entire earth to ourselves spiritually, man. You know, in righteousness. All right, so with Jake, we can't, you know, it's not going to be no hand hand in hand, man. Uh, you know, let's go to uh, Proverbs 11 and 21, right? It says, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered, man. And the, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, man. And who is the wicked? The wicked is Esau Edom. You know, uh, let's go to um, Malachi. Uh, one And let's start at verse 2 It says uh, I have loved you Say if you have bashim yashai Yet ye say wherein, wherein has thou loved us And that's what that's what Jake That's what Jake says man You know because Jake don't have the the, the uh, You know the Lamborghinis And the, and the glittery uh, jewels that Esau has, and, and, and you know, what I'm saying in showboats, you know. So now he, now, now Jake thinks, hey man, where, where's where's the Lord at, man? You know. But that's the mindset of Jake because because Esau has us thinking carnally, man. And Jake falls in love with the carnal things, man. Because we've been falling in love with the carnal things uh, since the beginning, man. Since Eve was uh, was, was deceived. It says, yet he say we're we're in. Hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say if you how about Shai? Um hold on one second, Slakia. Cause it's cut off. I wanna I don't wanna uh, butcher it. Uh was not Esau Jacob's brother? Say if you how about Shai? Yeah, I love Jacob, right? So the Most High has loved us, but it's tough love, man. You know, Jake wants that those smooth words, like uh, it says in Isaiah thirty, man. It says, uh, "Yeah, I love Jacob, man." Like a like a like a father should, man. When we when we go off, you know, he punishes us, right? It says, verse three, and I hated Esau. See, in the most, the most high, Yahweh Shemeshai hates Esau, man. It says, and, his, and lay his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. All right? It says, uh, verse 4, it says, uh, Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will, tur we, we will return and build the, the desolate places. And that's what happened during uh, the Renaissance, you know, the uh, iconoclasm, you know, taking over... Uh, uh, periods of, of history You know the, the the saying goes You know he who has the power makes history You know the original Greeks were Dark skinned people It wasn't Esau You know until Esau took over that region man Through the through the power Of Yahweh Bashim Hashem, man He gave him that, that power to do so So that way prophecy can be fulfilled So that way Esau can rule And then Jake uh, Jacob is uh, is the beginning of it that follow it, man. All right. It says um, it says thus say if Yahweh Bashim Yashai of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people whom the Lord have indignation forever. All right. See, so they're a, they're the border of wickedness. Now, a border is is designed to uh, keep something in and to to keep things out. All right, so they're the beginning and the ending. All right, so they are the wicked. They are they are the uh, the wicked ones of the, of the scriptures. 
All right, so when it says that the uh, the hand on the hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. That's talking about Esau, man. And you two thirds, man. That 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 wants to lower themselves to the to the uh, to the to the to the to the mindset and the philosophies of Esau. Let's go to um. Isaiah 30. Uh, in verse 12, it says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Yasharala, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high, wa in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. See, so we, tr so Jake trusts in oppression, man. And who was our main oppressor? Esau, man. For the love of Esau. Jake trusts in oppression and perverseness. There's no, there, there's no, uh, there's no one person that's more uh, perverse than Esau, man. What's that? Hebrews 12? Let me see real quick. It says, lest there be, uh, Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. See? So he's profane, man. He's outside the temple. Why? Because he doesn't have the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He's the epitome of, 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 of sin, man. The epitome, of, the epitome of wickedness, man. All right. So when we go back to Isaiah 30. It says, uh, wherefore, let's say it's the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Man, you don't even want to, you don't even want to seek Yahweh Bashim Yashai, man. You love, Jake loves doing these wicked things, man. Satisfying, satisfying the flesh. And that's why Paul said that the spirit lusts us against the flesh and the flesh against the spirit, man. It's going to be an everyday battle, but Jake don't even give a damn, man. Jake just want to just want to want to party uh, like like what what Biggie what what did Biggie say uh uh par party and bullshit, right? That's what that's what Jake wants to do, man. You know what? And it and it says uh uh, therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, man. As a as a wall as a, as a wall ready to crumble. You know that's what this is what we're we're in we're we're in a a crumbled state, man, because we trust in in oppression. It says swelling out in a high wall whose breaking comes suddenly at an instant. You see, and we're and we're a broken people, man. We're a broken people. You, you know, this is when you see when you see uh you know our women out here with, with everything hanging out, you know, that's that's a broken woman right there, man. You know, when you when you got Jake, you know, flashing uh, you know, pants all the way down to the to the, to his knees, you know, flashing money, you know, with with twenty six inch rims and not but he living in the in the hood, but he got he got twenty thousand dollars in cash in his pocket, man. That's trusting and oppression. And you know what? Since we trust in oppression, what is this? What is, let's see, uh, Psalms 62, because let's see what the, the scriptures say, what we should be doing. Um. Let's start at verse 9. It says, "Surely men of a of low degree are vanity, man. All right, and Esau is is a, is a man of low degree because he's the he's the vilest of the earth, man. He's the basis of base. All right, and it says, and men of high degree are a lie, and those are the, those are the, uh, those are the Amalekites that we don't see, man. Right, the bank, the top banking families." 
You know, the ones that, that's that's controlling this uh this new world order. Those people are alive, man. Because they they're the ones perpetuating that they're the, they're the, they're the, the most high people, man. It says to be laid in the balance, they are all together light and vanity. See, so you got the top Edomites, you got the, 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 the low level Edomites, man, but they're all vanity, man. They're all worthless. Right? Verse 10, Psalm 62 and 10, it says, Trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. You see, so we're, so we so in Isaiah 30 it says that we've we've trusted in oppression and trusted in perverseness and stayed there on, you know, because that's what Jake does, man. But the scriptures say, trust not in oppression, man, and become not vain in robbery. And how and how we robbing you how about you man? Through through tithes and offerings, man. And I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about making your body a living sacrifice. Being transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. You, you, we, we, we've become accustomed to having the mindset of Esau, man. We are that sacrifice now. We don't sacrifice animals and and uh, and stuff like that no more, man. Our body, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, has made it so that we have a propitiation, man. So now we make our own bodies a living sacrifice. That's why we don't trust in oppression, man. It says if riches increase, not, not your heart upon them, man. And that's what happened, man. Jake get a little bit of money. You know, Esau throw a little bit of chump change at LeBron James. Because you, you think LeBron James got money, man? Who who you think paying LeBron James? You know, who you think paying Shaquille O'Neal? And, uh, and Tiger Woods? All we see is chump change, man. And if you and, and and if LeBron James is making chump change, man, what 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 do you think? Twelve dollars an hour. Jake think he the shit making eighteen dollars an hour, man. All this is why because for the for the love of Esau, man. You know what? Let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes seven and seven. It says, "Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad." And a gift destroys the heart, man. So we, so the elect know that we're we're being oppressed, man. Not not to trust, and we don't trust in oppression. We don't trust Esau, man. You know, a couple weeks ago, a uh, Edomite uh, at camp, a Edomite fell up right on his face, man. Who give, who gives a damn, man? Cause just you know, just 60, 60 years ago, you know, you was you was getting messed up by Esau, man. Trying to segregate into that into this goofy ass society, man. Cause we cause we want to trust in oppression. Cause we want to make man our strength. Because we because we uh we got love for Esau, man. Ain't nothing but a bunch of coons and 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 uh and, and 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 shuckers and drivers out here, man, that you see on TV, that you see on these reality shows, they getting crumbs from Esau to to make to make you look stupid, man. It's Ecclesiastes seven to seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. And that's what that's what uh, Esau does, man. He gives us these 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 gifts, man. And uh, and throws it in our face and says, "Here." But un uh, but but behind closed doors, they 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 looking to overthrow you, man. They give you a three strike policy. They putting drugs in your community. They redlining your your neighborhoods. They're making it hard for you to get loans. You still co consider three fifths of a person. Uh, according to the Constitution, man, and the Constitution wasn't written for you. That's why you get shot down like like stray animals out here, man. Because you trust in oppression. You're a goddamn fool, man. Let's go to uh, Mark. 
Mark uh, 8 and let's start at 34. Mark 8 and 34. And we had called uh, the people unto him with his disciples also. He said, he said unto them, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So when we when we're when we're, uh, when we're not trusting oppression, when we're actually following righteousness, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna carry our burdens with us, man. That's what Yahweh I meant by take up his cross, man. Pick up your burdens and follow me. You know, because right now nobody's carrying their burdens, man. Nobody has any burdens because now it's a, it's a feel good society. You know, you can smoke weed, you can pop pills. You know what I'm saying? You know, go to the club, get get wasted out your mind. Sleep with who are you want to sleep with? Be a, a freak. You know, there are no burdens here, man. Because there's there's no uh there's no um you know, recompense for your actions. You're free to do as thou will. All right, but when you follow your how about you shy, you take up your cross, man. You take up your cross daily, man. You live with your burdens. All right. And it says, follow me. It says, verse 35. It says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall uh, lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. So see, now you, you see, now you have Jake's out here. That's that's willing to lose their life for Esau, man. They're gaining, they're gaining their, the, 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 uh, their life in this world, you know, but they're losing their spiritual life. They're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven, man. They're going to be, uh, it's going to be a period of shame, man. When they're, when, when, uh, cause people are going to know that you, that you was off, man. That you was loving Esau and his philosophies. All right. It says, uh, but it says, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. So, so the men of Yahweh Bashi Mashai and the few and the few chosen, uh, the few righteous sisters, you know what I'm saying, are going to lose their life, man, their carnal life, in order to gain Yahweh Shai, man. In order to to uh, to gain that mercy, right? Uh, verse 36 is the point It says for what shall it profit a man If he shall gain the whole world And lose his own soul Alright so this is what he, This is what Jake is doing man He's gaining the world and he's gaining Esau's uh, uh, Abundances Right But he's losing his own soul man You know Jake Jake gets enticed with a gold chain man But you know Hey, we're gonna be walking on gold streets, man. A, a, a whole golden city, man. Streets paved with gold. And Jake and Jake selling his soul for 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 uh, for for a gold chain, man. To put a goofy ass diamond in the middle of their forehead. So this is this is this is the the stupidity of our people, man. Um, I was there 28 and 15. It says, uh, Because he has said, We have made a covenant with death, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us, for we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves, man. And that's perfectly describing Jake, man. You have made a cov covenant with death. Why? Because that's what's coming to Esau Edom, man. It's death. Alright. In hell we are in agreement. What is hell? Hell is not some place on the ground, man. Hell is a condition. You love this place, man. You love you love what you eat the, the crumbs that you that you that you eating from uh, the rich man's table. Like it says in Luke 16, the parable of uh, the rich man and Lazarus, man. You love to have the the, the uh, those dogs uh, lick your sores, man. You wouldn't have it any other way. 
You see, in the overflowing, uh, it says when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it would have scourge. The scourge is, uh, is, is an instrument uh, for, uh, well, you can use it for torture, but uh, for punishment. All right. It says when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. That's what that's what that's what Jake think, man. You know that you know the elders was going into. You know Jake. Jake joined the military to get a new ride, man. Get a brand new ride. You know, Jake joined the military to get four years of free college. You know, but Jake is don't understand that they're gonna be they're gonna be the ones fighting against you. How about Shimi Ashai, man? All right. It says, "For we have made lies our refuge." And see, that's that's the that's the. Uh, that's what Esau does, man. He's a damn liar, man. The accuser of our brethren is cast down, man. He's a, he's a, he accuses us day and night, man. All right, and says, and under falsehood, ha have we hid ourselves, man? We've hid, we've we've hid ourselves under under falsehood, man. You know what? Uh, real quick, Psalms one forty four, right? And verse 7 it says, Sign thine hand from above, rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is, is a right hand of falsehood. And Esau's right hand is the right hand of falsehood. So when we trust in falsehood, when we trust in a lie, we're trusting in Esau, man. That's why Esau is the deceiver. All right, this is this is this is it's not that hard to to link up precept upon precept. All right, let's uh, so the Second Thessalonians chapter uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two, and let's go to verse four. Let's get to the point. It says, "Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God." Showing himself that he is the most high. See, this is what this is why we, we love Esau, man, because he's in the power seat. You know, all the big banking families are Edomites. So now we love Esau. All the all the police officers, what well, the majority of police officers, man, are, are are Edomites. So now we look we look at them as the authority, man. You know, Jesus Jesus Christ is a, is an Edomite. Now we look now we look to him as a savior, man. Now we look to him as the son of the heavenly father. You know, uh now we now we see that 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 the the gutter rats in Israel are 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 the true people of the heavenly father, man. And they're Edomites. Now we look to them as well well damn, well they're 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 the most high people too. See they 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 exalt themselves as the, the 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 heavenly father's people, man. As the heavenly father. All right, let's jump down to verse uh, ten. It says, um, "And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and then that perish, because they they receive uh, because they receive not the love of the truth." That they might be saved. So see, now we're we're giving Jake the love of the truth, man. According to the scriptures. We're giving him that love. Alright, that's why we out here in the highways and hedges, man. That's why we're making these video epistles to, because we love our people. All right, that they might be saved, man. Because what did, what did Paul say in Romans ten? That it, that is that is it's his heart it's desire that all Israel shall be saved. All right. Uh, it says verse eleven. It says, and for this and for this cause, the heavenly Father shall send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. See, now we trust in a man that's a liar, man. Now we trust in a falsehood. Now we have the love, uh, uh, love for Esau. Because that's all we see. You know, the top CEOs are, are Edomites. 
You know, all the owners of 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 a sports team are Edomites. They said Michael Jordan, he done sold his soul, you know, way, way back. Because he loves Esau. Right? Buying up uh, prison uh, shares and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because he loves Esau. Uh, verse 12. It says that they, that, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, that's that's gonna happen to two thirds Jake, man. That love that love Esau, man. All right, and this was this is what's gonna happen. Revelation thirteen, and let's start at verse thirteen. It says, "And he doeth great wonders, so that he make fi make his fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men." All right, and that and that's going into these. Uh, Back in uh, you know the the sixties with with uh, you know uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima, you know those those, those atomic bombs, man, making fire rain down from heaven, man. Because Esau was the first one with these atomic bombs. You know, it says, verse fourteen, it says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do so. In the sight of the beast, all right. So he would. So he was given that power before anybody else. You know, nuclear capabilities. Uh, you know, sonar. All these type of different uh, uh, weapons, and you know, e and Esau is the, is the main conspirator of weapons of mass destruction, man. All right. It says. Um, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live all right so now that that image is is the uh the image of of and philosophies of the of 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 the roman empire that's why the scriptures say in ecclesiastes that there's no, nothing new up under the sun okay this is that this that deadly wound that was healed is the roman empire and we and we are back now in the time the Romans are back here on the earth now and this is why we're in the end times because Yahweh Shai said uh, that all those that uh, in Revelation 1 and 7 you know that he uh, come with clouds and, uh, and every and every every eye shall see him and they all shall was pierce them because those same Romans that, that were back then 2,000 years ago are, are back here on the earth today all right and, and Jake is going to worship the image of the beast, man. That's because they love Esau. All right. They love Esau, man. W with the, uh, you know, you got, you know, uh, you know, the the WAP song, all that. You know, Jake with, with pouring alcohol on women in, in the club. You know what I'm saying? Uh, gl uh uh, glam, uh, glamorizing, you know, uh, drugs and and uh, you know and money, you know what I'm saying, and women, all that stuff, man, is 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 uh, worshiping the image of the beast, man. All right, going to going out and voting, you know what I'm saying, and, and Jake out here looking stupid as hell with a damn, uh, I voted today sticker, and, and asking me, where, asking around, where, where's your sticker at? Our people are foolish, man. All right. Uh, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And see, that's what's going to happen. You know, because people are going to love Esau so much, that they're going to be able to, to uh, they're going to worship the image of the beast, man. They're going to worship the, the philosophies and the doctrines and the way of life of the of the Edomites to function in this society. All right, but the but the elect are not going to do that, man. That's why that's why I said before in my previous lessons, you know, some of us are going to be all martyrs, man. That's going to be a beautiful thing. In verse sixteen, 
It says, uh, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in the foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See? So when you love Esau, you're going to be willing to take that RFID microchip, man, which is the, the, uh, the mark of the beast. All right? And part of get, getting that mark of the beast is worshiping the image because you're not going to be able to function in the society of the image of the beast without without that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. It all ties in together, man. The three, they're three, uh, it's, they're separate entities or they're separate things, but they all tie in together, man. All right? So most of our willing to was edifying to the elect, I want to say, uh, Kwame, uh, Kwame Sharala, a Baba Ball, double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And I want to give all honor and glory to you. How about Shimiyashai? Bashem Rukakadash. Shalom.